Well, what can you say when a man has lost everything? Last year I lost my website, every source of income I had coming in. Everything I had tomorrow balanced on, based on. I'm not one of those guys who can go out and work for eight dollars an hour to make sure I earn just enough to get back to work. And so I hit, hit so I sit here slurring my voice like every other American who has come to the final reality that everything is everything I could yell and scream and put some dramatic music in the background and preach like Martin Martin Haven speak Martin Luther King preach to you and tell you and get you fired up about tomorrow but inside be melting crushed with grief and disappointment can't be disappointed in my woman who I have loved and will always love through everything I did wrong and everything I knew was right We'll put the spices on that meat as soon as I get outside after I do this video, man. I am so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> the end is near is the name of the damn video. I'll be there in a minute and a half. Maybe three. Seven at the most. And even in my loss and defeat and utter frustration of failure, I still find it in myself to help others that are just a uh, scout less fortunate than me. When you try to help other people forsaking yourself, you lose. And that's why you folks are seeing the top of my forehead. A success story is somebody coming up from your help and making sure you don't need none. As I lay my head here in shame and I speak as if I'm reading from some tablet graced to us by the gods that which will live inside me. I think how many times have I helped those less than me knowing I had nothing to help myself and my family to push that limit past the limit to see what my limit would be as I think about myself it makes me want to cry about the man I thought that I wanted to be. As I dreamed of a better time, a better way to survive, thinking of the laws that I would have to be broke. Forsaking a vision of what society would expect of somebody who had the talents that I have. Knowing with the proper exposure that it wouldn't be time, it wouldn't be minutes, it wouldn't be nothing for me to get what everyone has. To succeed where so many have failed and tried 
just to have some basic life for my namesake and myself and the person I love beyond belief. You can sit and think about your failures and your accomplishments and they don't mean anything unless tomorrow means more than yesterday. But when you can't get a job because you want to be a human being and a real person and you don't have credit you're pushed into a box the box that you're pushed into has many names in different languages different emblems to state that name but here in the United States of America we call them a coffin People on the outside of here look in here and think that this is where they should be. But when you fail here, there's only one space left. That's a coffin. There's no place for those who can't succeed in this country. Because this is the last realm for anybody who wants to make a name for themselves or to try to do better for the world at hand. This is the last bastion of free speech for now, as far as I know and as far as I understand. I can talk about losing everything and feeling bad about myself and just say, fuck it, go ahead and think about that long, deep sleep. I have to survive. I have to stay alive. For other people to wake up and sleep. You may not understand what I just said. There's more in my hands than just what sits in front of me. My life has come and gone. When I was a criminal thug, didn't give a damn. I tell people I lived a million years. It's time for me to be gone. I talked to a psychiatrist recently and she asked me, do you wish that you was dead? I told her, no, I have no time to go. But I wish I was not here instead. Those who know me know what the fuck I be and how I bring what's inside of my soul. But if I died right now, nobody would care. And I'd die 41 fucking years old. Those who think that people are on the brink of suicide and want to leave this place don't know who I be because without me this place would be erased in my mind I am the reason that everyone lives on this planet and if I'm gone so are they for inside yourself you are God that's the only place you need to pray. So think about yourself. Think about what you got. Think about what you lost. Knowing it was up to you in the first place to make sure everything was right. Not tossed.